Hello everybody, and welcome to a, another video that's a little different. Um, as you can probably tell by the title, um, this video is, this is not an old video, uh, as such, because I mean, I've not been uploading recently. Um, yeah, today is a, I guess the term would be special day. I don't know, I, it feels wrong to say, like, build up like that. But yeah, you've read the title. Today officially marks uh, 10 years since I uploaded my first ever video onto YouTube. And thus, 10 years of me doing content creation online. Um, and I felt like I couldn't, knowing this day, I couldn't just let the day pass and not make a video on it. Um, just It's just going to be a classic, well not classic, but it's just going to be me talking about content creation, talking about um, the past. And, and you know, just I, I wouldn't say celebrate, because how do you celebrate something like this? But... Um, yeah, I just wanted to make a video kind of talking about content creation, the, the journey, and and uh, how, how thankful I am for a lot of the stuff that's happened. So, so yeah, um, like I said, today marks 10 years since I first uploaded um, a video uh, uh, online. Uh, it was called my first video, uh, my first vlog, I think, um, and it was terrible. Uh, it was absolutely awful, as were like 90% of the videos I made. Um, and yeah, it was literally just me speaking in front of a camera, uh, putting on a fake American accent, because back then I thought that the only successful content creators were American, uh, and if you want to check that out, I'll put the link in the description, you know, so, um, yeah, if you want to cringe, if you want to laugh, if you want to smile, uh, yeah, maybe that video will, uh, will hit those spots for you. Um, but yeah, so, we, we come to today, um, it's the 12th of January. And like I said, that is officially um, 10 years since I, I first started, which it means a lot uh, because it's not just kind of 10 years of me kind of being online and creating content, but it, it's also almost half of my life. Um, so it it's, you know, content creation is the thing that's very close to my heart. If it wasn't, then I, I wouldn't have kind of been in here for 10 years. And, and obviously while these 10 years I'm talking about haven't been like me consistently creating content. I've been around, you know, like I've been around, I've been in all these circles, I've been, you know, trying when I had the free time to kind of create content and, and move from there. And yeah, it's, it's been, it's been a ride. Uh, obviously, while it's kind of slowed down for the moment uh, and on this channel, um, it's not something I ever really want to shy away from, even when I have like other responsibilities going and things like that. Because it, it's special to me, right? Um, content creation. Uh, I've said this a few times, but you know, I'll say it again. It's pretty relevant for this video. Um, I've always... Uh, I, I've been quite lonely uh, as a kid. Uh, as a kid, I often struggled with, like, friends and all that sort of stuff. And I, I remember I often used to come home from school um, crying. Uh, I, I don't remember why, but, you know, I come home crying, come home upset at something that happened at that day in school. And it usually came down to something friend-related, something just other people-related, something just wasn't going well and I was struggling. And what I did every day, basically without fail, uh, was I got home, I got on my computer, and I watched YouTube. And that is why I, I create content. That's why, like I say, while I've kind of dipped from it, um... That, that is why. That's just the origin story, uh, <laughs> yes, it may, um, of, of me creating content. Um, I used to come home and I used to be sad and want to just have something where I could just forget. I could just pretend that my life wasn't my life and that I could just live and, and just smile. And that was what YouTubers and, and streamers and, well, mainly YouTubers, to be fair. I don't really watch streamers. Um, that's what YouTubers were for me. Um, specifically... Um, you know, a lot of, like the pack, people like that, and, and specifically for, for, you know, the the purpose of this video is pretty relevant, is Ant Venom. Um, when I first started content creation, um, I wasn't called Piggles. <laughs> uh, I was called uh, Eth Venom. And you can probably see where I'm going with this. Um, yeah, I was known as Eth Venom online. I say I was known. I, I called myself Eth Venom. I wasn't known. Um... And yeah, it's, it's very clearly inspired by Ant Venom. Uh, there's basically two like big inspirations for me when it comes to YouTube, uh, and that is kind of Ant Venom and I'd probably say Lachlan or Craft Battle Duty, as it was back in the day. Um, 
And yeah, I, I, for some reason, really connected with those two creators more than the others. And I just watched them a lot. And so Ant Venom kind of became the, the template. I was like, oh, Venom sounds... Man, that sounds cool. Like, I should I should use that, right? So I just copied it. Um, and then until, like, uh, I don't know how many years later. Like, I, I, probably only, like, a couple of years later. Um, I, I kind of sat there and was like, guys, what if Ant Venom sues me? Like, what if, he, what if he sues me? Like, I can't I can't rob his brand like that. Uh, so uh, I got on a call, uh, spit along some ideas to change my brand, and now you have Piggles. Um, if you want the, the quick story on how that exists, um, I was just in a call with a friend, and they were like, all right, what are things you like? Um, and I said Pigs, and then they just came up with a bunch of names based off of Pigs, and thus you have Piggles. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't really have more of a, a story there, unfortunately. I was a, bit, it was a little bit boring, but yeah. And I kind of, you know, over the time, I, I, I never really had a consistent upload schedule until like three, four years ago. As you guys will know, of course, I started doing weekly. Um, until then, because of school and, and commitments like that, I very much was like on or off um, with content a lot. Um, I, you know, I'd go to like some holidays would come and then I'd upload every week or whatever. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I'd be lying if I sat here and was like, I used to make amazing content because I didn't. Um, I would look back at like any of my old content and cringe a ton. Um, but you know, it's, it was, it's essentially my childhood, right? Like I, it is what has grown me into the person I am today. It's like a large portion of that. So it feels like it's, you know, I, I can't just hide it and forget about it. And if you didn't know, uh, I very much don't do that. Because uh, even though you can't see my videos, my old videos right now, um, if you go to my channel, I have a playlist uh, called Old Videos where basically every single of my old videos is there. Uh, you can watch my first picks in one video. You can watch my first mod tutorial. You can watch whatever you want, basically, of my old content. So I'll, I'll link that in the description below for people who are curious who want to check that out. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying, my, my first kind of inspiration with content uh, was, was Ant Venom. Uh, he was like the first person I probably watched, and so I kind of uh, I, w I was inspired by him to create content, even though I didn't make content like him at all. Um, <laughs> that was just kind of the inspiration. I kind of moved from there, uh, and and yeah, it's it's a big deal. Uh, I remember I I made a ton of different bits of content. I tried to do survival games. I tried to do whatever with the few friends I had, um, and over time it just kept growing. I kept being like, you know, I'm not happy with this. Um, and I kept trying to like find a new way, a new sort of uh, type of content that I'd enjoy. And then eventually I stumbled across um, MCC. Um, MCC and MCC testing. I didn't actually join testing with the goal to create content. Uh, I joined testing because I like wanted to play the game, to be honest. I'm not going to sit there and lie to you guys. I didn't join testing because I wanted to, you know, help MCC. I joined testing because it looked cool, guys. That's why I joined testing. Um, so, yeah, that is kind of what got me on, on this road of kind of growing. And it's probably where you guys heard of me from. I'm curious. I'm going to ask you guys to comment whatever. Uh, like, quite a few things, maybe. Uh, but most specifically is, like, I'm really curious. Where did you guys find me from? You know? Uh, what was it that you guys, if you can remember like searched or did somebody recommend you at uh, me to you uh that sort of thing um but yeah it, it was all mcc it, it was all mcc that kickstarted this whole thing uh me, me like getting following and you know people knowing who i am uh it was all i'm all thankful to mcc for uh mc testing uh which at the time were allowed to you know blow test i'm still a tester by the way uh for this curious um yeah it was it was kind of like that kickstarted everything uh, and then from MCC testing, the thing that helped a lot as well was I joined Lads. Uh, Lads is a Discord of, you know, Sam, Morgan, Obi, people like that. Um, and yeah, without them, I kind of wouldn't have had the the friends to kind of do content with. Um, so I, I do owe a lot of it to them as as well. Um, I guess, you know, that just kind of leads to nowadays that there's not really much of a difference kind of to the point now. Um, but then it kind of leads to, I guess, the big achievements, the big kind of things that I feel like I've achieved with YouTube. I mean, I, I won't lie, I, I wouldn't say I would be anywhere near as happy as, as like, I am with, like, you know, I may be struggling like, mentally here or there, it, it, just over time, everybody does that. Um, but I do really think that a lot of my 
um, my happiness and my... I think I have improved a lot as a person. Um, and I'm very happy with me personally. And I think I wouldn't be at that point without content creation. Because that kind of showed me that people appreciate what I do. And it gave me that sense of purpose. And um, it helped me develop and work on myself when things in my own personal life weren't going well. And I will forever be appreciative of that. The other thing is like... One thing that is really special to me uh, with content creation is anytime you get a message or a like somebody recognizes you in a game of Sky Wars is really special. Um, it's it's such a hard feeling to like convey, but I know a lot of people get irritated and like find it annoying getting messaged or whatever. But it really means a lot to me because the fact that like somebody's gone out their way to like say hello or as somebody who obviously grew up with watching content like i know what it's like to see somebody you watch to be like oh my god it's it's that person so so knowing that people see other like see me and have that same reaction is like it, it is it's so special um i think it's one of the things i appreciate the most about content creation is people out there that do you know that do appreciate me that do um really enjoy the content that I've made um, and do like want to see me around places you know that they go out their way and feel special if I do message or you know like I, I was playing a hoplite game the other day and somebody messaged in chat and was like oh my god I'm pretty sure I screenshot their name because I like to screenshot that sort of stuff because it's special right you know I don't, I don't want people to think that you're just you know NPC number one for me you know um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I screenshot that, and he ended up getting on my team in in Hoplite, and I was like, oh man, that's so, that's so awesome, uh, and he helped me in the game. Unfortunately, he died, and I was really sad because he got chased by somebody when we weren't there, and I felt really bad, but stuff like that is so special. Where else could you get that, right? Where else can that sort of feeling come from? It can't, right? Like, there's, there's no other way to get that sort of feeling, like, you guys, you know, there's, there's only so many careers or so many, like, things you can do for people to to look at you and appreciate and like feel that way about you and that is special and it's something I'll, I'll never forget um if i had to say there's like one thing that i would say is my biggest achievement from from being online a, a content creator is it has to be block wars 3 right um block wars 3 uh obviously block wars is the content creator block wars not to be confused with block wars origins which is like the you know the lads and stuff like that um Blow Wars 3, uh, I subbed into, and I was placed on a team, um, it was Orange, um, with Aimston, uh, Fur, Gold, and the important one for this case, uh, Ant Venom. Uh, and if you, you know, were paying attention to what I just said earlier, that was special. It was the biggest thing I think I've ever done with Condor Christian, because Ant Venom was like my inspiration, right? Like he was the reason why I started, he was the one who kicked off everything um he was the canon event um and so teaming with him and speaking to him as a person you know as me not as you know just as like fan you know just not just like uh, as somebody who grew up watching just like as the person like i am and him like you know was having a civil conversation because you know it, it can be hard not to feel like a child you know compared to with somebody like that it, it was incredible. It's like the equivalent of, you know, my dad, you know, meeting somebody who grew up watching TV um, of, like, it was so special. And I'm never going to forget that. Um, I, I have a friend on Discord. Like, how crazy is that? The guy I grew up watching, I'm friends with on Discord. Like, that's, this got to be the biggest moment for me. Um, but that, of course, tied with just the fact that you get interacted with by other people. Um, you know, the fact that I've had DMs of people sending paragraphs to me like, Hey, you're awesome. Like, thank you for creating content, you know, thank you for doing this, thank you for doing that. It is incredible. Uh it's so special and I will always be thankful of that. Um so yeah. That has gotta be the main thing for sure that I'm I appreciate that I care about. Um, this is, see, I probably shouldn't have played Hot Blight. Ooh, that guy's good. Don't heal, don't heal. 
Oh, that's gonna be sad. That's gonna be really sad. Oh, guys. Oh, oh we died pretty quickly and easily, didn't we? Well, well, that just happened. Well, we can uh, focus on something else now. That's hype. Um, but yeah, that's like the the main thing is that the you know meeting and venom and consecration and stuff like that is, is so special and i just wanted to say a, a big thank you to all of you guys watching for kind of for being there you know for being there for me um for you know tuning into the videos not everybody's going to tune into every single video you know i'd be a fool to think that but um i'll forever be thankful for a lot of you for tuning in when you have you know um you guys like i say you mean a lot and i i know everybody's gonna be like oh parasocial this parasocial that I will never <clears throat> not appreciate that feeling as somebody who, and it's going to sound really sad, as somebody who grew up quite alone, um, the thought that I can help other people not be alone is so special. Um, and I will, I will never not be thankful for that. Um, you guys mean a lot to me, and you always will. Uh, and I know it sounds this parasocial thing that everybody's like, guys, you shouldn't say these things, you shouldn't do this. It's the truth, right? I wouldn't be the person I am today without all your guys' support, without, you know, the comments, the the feedback, the, the love that you guys give. Um, I wouldn't be myself today without it. Why does that guy have Warpick? I, I just wouldn't. Like I, like, I wouldn't be able to function as I do without you guys and i will forever be thankful of that and i will never forget that i will i will never lose that it will always be a part of me you know whenever i'm struggling i always remember that there are people out there that you know do care that do you know want to see me create content that do want to see me stream again they do want to see me make another video again you know and um i'll never not appreciate that i i know i've rambled a lot uh and yeah but i this video is never going to be anything grand. I just wanted to talk. I wanted to make sure you guys knew that, you know, I hadn't forgotten you and that, you know, I was still here and all that. Uh, another thing I would say is if you do want to see more of me, I do still create content. It's just not the content that you guys might like as much. If you enjoyed this video, I do have a second channel um, called Pickles But Again, where I make weekly videos, talk about my life uh, and, you know, talk about, you know, a theme, you know, some life lessons, some kind of like things i've picked up and learned over my years um so if you do you know if you're interested about just life talk and um various life problems and you know want to want to hear about you know my take on them and also talk about your weeks as well uh you can go ahead and uh, check that out in the description uh, as well with all the other videos but uh yeah as, as we kind of come to the end i do just want to say a massive thank you um I know it ends up being this a lot, you know, it's always a big thank you, and it's, you know, people are like, oh, of course it's gonna be a big thank you, but, uh, but like, at the end of the day, there's, there isn't words I can really say to express the feeling of joining a Minecraft server, playing a game, and, and having somebody in chat say, you know, hey, you're awesome, I love your videos, thank you for creating content, and stuff like that, there's, there's no, there's, there's nothing that can top that, there just isn't. Like, it, it will forever be appreciated, and I will never forget um, what you guys have done for me, and yeah, that's just kind of that. I recognize that IGN. No, I don't. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I do have a project that I was working on for today. Um, unfortunately, I kind of got to it a little too late, uh, but... I am working on a very, very cool project that I'm hoping to release as, like, a cool, like, hey, you know, I, um, I did this, you know, I did this to celebrate and also just because I can. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the other channel or in a future video. Goodbye, guys.